Warning, if the video, title, and description went over your head, let me be really clear on what you're about to watch. This is a backyard hunting video, which helps keep the population of pests under control. The bonus, some of these guys actually taste pretty dang good. If hunting and pest control offend you, don't watch, it's simple. So with that behind us, let's get on with the video. Egg Gun Leshy presents. Before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you for the support. Uh, the channel is under constant attack from miserable people whom report my videos in an attempt to try and control the type of content that you get to see on YouTube. The good news, you all jumped in and helped me fight back by subscribing, liking, and dropping some comments. My only weapon against these losers is you guys, so I appreciate that support. Uh, it takes just a few seconds to hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, or hit the like button. But every time you do so, it's a swift kick to the snowflakes. And motivation for me to continue dropping some bangers to entertain you all. If you want to go all out after watching this video, check out the best of Egg Unless You Playlist and just let her rip. Every watch minute melts a snowflake. True story. So, thanks again, guys, and let's get back to it. A couple months ago, I got the alert I had filled my iCloud to two terabytes. Uh, it's an ongoing project to clear out space, and as a result, I found hundreds of gigabytes of lost footage. Today, we're diving back in, starting with this rabbit. taking quite a few squirrels on this little new growth they use as a perch to look over the yard. I don't know what it is, but there's something about this little perch that at least 90% of them get their foot stuck and they hang there for a bit. Ah, uh, yes, these rocks. You need a calculator at this point to count how many critters call this their final resting place. Every time I see a few of those dents in the garage, uh, I'm reminded how clearly I have the coolest neighbor of all time. For a summer, this eight-foot circle was the focal point of my attention. Her garage was just absolutely invaded by critters. They got into an old car, and they just ate up everything inside it. And back to the rocks we go. Uh, he got his last chew on that peanut for a few seconds, and then it was 34 grains of lead for a little dessert. I never knew chipmunks actually climbed up into trees, but uh, let me know if you guys see this in your yard too. But anyways, I absolutely pinned this guy to the tree with a 30 cal JSB. Here's another one I caught over on the rocks. While I was editing this, we got 
pounded with a snowstorm. So let me take a quick break from the critters to show you this project I got going on. A couple years ago, I decided to build an indoor range to make use of a big crawl space I have in my house. Uh, don't even get me started on why they didn't blow out this whole uh, crawl space as a big ass basement, but whatever. Uh, maybe I think when we do a large renovation on this house, we might do it then. But for now, it's boxes and for some pew pew. Uh, this section here is about 10 yards. So um, I built this box on the right with about 50 pounds of Doug seal uh, as a backstop and uh, then just some kind of random targets. So it's definitely time for a refresh. By no means am I an expert. So let me know in the comments uh, what ideas you guys have. Uh, drop your ideas, links to products, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll grab some of the good ones and implement them. Uh, I'm going to build it out uh, within some upcoming videos. Uh, so it's the perfect little space. So I'm excited to see what this turns into. I use the current setup primarily for tuning uh, guns, but I saw Tyler from Pyramid Air uh, post about a game he does in his basement with his buddies uh, with a bell target. So think darts uh, with an air gun. So I reached out and I was asking him about it, and we ended up coming up with this idea of Pyramid Air doing a video series with me on the refresh of my basement range. So they sent over some different targets uh, to play around with. I got this one made and I'm going to show more of this in the game in the upcoming videos. It's a super challenging and fun basement game to do with your buddies for sure. You can't have a good indoor range without a good target pew. So uh, Pyramid Air sent over this Air Arms T200 Sporter. Uh, I'm going to be giving it away actually as part of this video series. So uh, it has to be unfortunately for US folks only given the product, but it's simple to enter. Just click the link in the description for details on the rules. This is the first air arms gun I've actually ever shot, and man, is this thing accurate. Uh, while accuracy ultimately comes down to the shooter, there are a few kind of key components, I'll say, that even the best shooters can't overcome. With a PCP, uh, I look for quality of a regulator and barrel. Uh, so this thing was just throwing nonstop duplicates over the chronograph. I mean, seriously, it was just one after another. What blew me away uh, was Tyler actually telling me the gun's not even regulated. Uh, it's just a really well-balanced system. So this probably comes as no surprise uh, to the folks who own air arms guns, but they make quality stuff, right, is what it comes down to. So this one in particular is a lower power 177, putting out about six to seven foot pounds, uh, but it can be pushed maybe up to about 12. You can adjust it if you want. But remember, uh, this is specifically for short range target shooting. So uh, the trigger can also be adjusted to your liking, but I'm not going to uh, touch it. I'm gonna leave it OEM so whomever wins it can start there. Uh, the open sights, man, this is just a ton of fun. Uh, honestly, in the past, shooting indoors was not really my jam. It was kind of boring. Uh, but the combo of this gun with the open sights and the bell target game, I'm having a blast with my buddies and shooting offhand is no joke. So it's been a lot of fun and pretty humbling to be honest with you. I'll be building this range out over the course of a few videos between now and the giveaway ending uh, at the end of February. So while my friend Tyler Patner over at Pyramid Airs hooked me up with a few products to help get me started, let's hear your ideas uh, for how to make the official Ed Gun Leshy basement range amazing. All right, so now let's get back to some critters. All right, so let's start the back half of this video with uh, the thumbnail uh, for this video. So. Uh, it's an 81 grain 9 millimeter pellet out of the Leshy Classic. We call this the Nasty 9. Continuing on with the Nasty 9. This one blew a hole straight through both shoulders that I could literally fit my finger through. Watch closely and, and you'll see it. I won't use the Nasty 9 too much again because it honestly a totally waste of meat. This is another little notch on a different tree that critters love to hang out on. At this point, I'm guessing this is number 50 chipmunk that I've taken on these rocks alone.
being in an urban environment, having a solid backstop like a tree is critical. As you watch, this was a straight pass through. And over time, I used to go over there with little pliers, little needle nose pliers, and just pull the lead out of the tree. This one was from the editing room floor from one of the early Dirty 30 flicks. Early on, I had the Dirty 30 shooting really slow. Uh, these guys have crazy reflexes and would flinch just before impact. The owls used to keep the rabbit population pretty much at bay, but when they started to move on, uh, I ended up having uh, to take quite a few of them, and this was one of them. Right after I retired the original table for one, uh, I was testing just having logs like this all over the, uh, the side of the yard. My wife hated them, so I ended up bagging the idea. Here's with the Egg Gun Leshy Classic, and I snuck one just over the lip of this feeder, and I put one right into the ear of this chipmunk. So I had this table set up uh, a little bit shorter distance, but there was like this little critter game trail uh, right here. And I just absolutely set, it was like three weeks and they were just nonstop, mostly chipmunks got taken on this little table. Then I had actually one even closer. Uh, that was another little trail that I would find them on. Every once in a while, a squirrel would pop up there, but for the most part, these were rats and little chipmunks. But here's a squirrel and I absolutely drill this guy. Here's a better look at what I was talking about earlier on how I had a few of these logs kind of set up at different choke points um, throughout the yard. And this is what happens. One of them will come up, and this guy, and I remember this guy, it looked like he had been caught in like a snare or something. He had this crazy lines on him. So this was the closest of the logs that I had, and it was about 14 yards, but a really steep angle, so it kind of made for an awkward shot. Did I mention that I took a ton of chipmunks on these rocks? I mean, it was just incredible. It was just one after another. This was actually, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, it was like the waiting room for the table for one or something, but it was a pretty popular place, and uh, this guy just got absolutely ghosted.
Here's one where I was testing the new ATM Thor 4. I had their uh, Excite 4K mounted on another gun as well, so I was actually filming kind of picture-in-picture -picture of thermal and normal daytime camera at the same time. We're going to end volume three with this one. So make sure to check out the giveaway in the description and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.